What is the fourth derivative of f of x shown below at x equals 0? f of x equals 2x plus 1 to the power of 4. So let me show you the derivatives. So this is the first derivative, and this is the second, third, and fourth derivative. So to find the fourth derivative as here in the question, we're going to solve the first, second, third, then fourth. So let me write the formula, which is f of x equals 2x plus 1 to the power of 4. So as we can see here in the formula, we have a function inside a larger function. So that means we're going to use chain rule. So what does chain rule says? Derivative of outside function leaving inside function alone. So we have the derivative outside function and leaving the function inside alone, then times the derivative of inside function. So we have here a power. So if we have here a power, we're going to use the power rule. So what does the power rule says? For example, here, I have 2x to the power of 3 as the power rule, it will be 6, then 3 minus 1 equals 2. So we're going to do 3 times 2, then we're going to minus it by 1. So we'll do the same here. So we here we have to power of 4, so I'm going to put it here, then minus 1. So the first derivative equals. So I moved the 4 here, then as we said, we're going to leave inside function as it is as the chain rule. So I'm going to leave inside function as it is. And then 4 minus 1 equals 3. Then the derivative inside. So let's derivative inside. So 2x plus 1. So when we see x without any power, this means the number inside uh, front of the x is the derivative. How is that? So if x don't have a power, mean to the power of 1. So 1 times 2 equals 2, then 1 minus 1 is 0, and x to the power 0 is 1. So we don't need to write it. And then here, 1 without any x, it means constant number. So any constant number, and the, the derivative of it will be 0. So here we have the derivative is 2. So now we need to simplify. So to, to simplify, we're going to do 2 times 4 equals 8. Then here I have nothing to divide with it, so I'm going to leave it as it is. So now I find the first derivative. Let me find the second derivative. So the second derivative equals. We're going to do the same way. So here the power. So 3 times 8 equals 24. And then as the chain rule, we're going to leave the number here, minus 1, the number inside as it is, then the times the derivative inside. So going to put the number inside as it is. Then 3 minus 1 equals 2. And then the derivative inside, as we solved it before, it's 2. And then again, we're going to simplify. So 2 times 24 equals 48. And then I'm going to leave the number here as it is. We find the first derivative and we find the second derivative. And this was the answer for the second derivative as we solved it. And now we're going to find the third, then the fourth derivative. So let me write the third derivative. 
equal. So we're going to use the chain rule again. So let me remind you of the chain rule again. So derivative of outside, which is this one, function leaving inside function as it is, then times the derivative inside. So the derivative outside, this one. So we have power. So I'm going to use the power rule. So 2 times 48 and here minus 1 as the power rule. So four, uh, 2 times 48 equals 96. Then the number here as it is as the chain rule. So I'm going to leave the function inside as it is. So 2x plus 1. Then 2 minus 1 equals 1. Then the derivative inside. So as I said here, we have x. If x without any power, mean the number directly in front of x. And here we have x without. Uh, we have number without x, which means constant number. So it's zero. So here too. And now I'm going to simplify. So two times ninety six equals one hundred. 92 then here I'm going to leave it as it is 2x plus 1 to the power of 1 because I have nothing to divide to multiply it with and now we find the third and now we're going to go to the fourth derivative so the fourth derivative equals we're going to do the same way so 1 times 190 2 equals 192 and then here minus 1 so I'm going to do, leave the function as it is as I set up for the chain rule and then 1 minus 1 equals 0 then the derivative inside which I which we found up is 2 and now Let's solve it. So I'm going to keep 196 as it is. You could multiply it now or you could multiply it later, but I'm going to multiply it later. So here we have 2x plus 1. So let me tell you about something. So here if we have, for example, 5 to the power of 0, it's directly 1. Anything with the power of 0, for example, 1 to the power of 0, it's always 1. So here we have 2x plus 1. So if it's power to the 0, it's going to be directly 1. So anything with the power of 0 means 1. The derivative will be 1. And then I'm going to leave 2 as it is. And then equals, I'm going to put 192 as it is. So 2 times 1 equals 2. Then 192 times 2 equals 384. So the fourth derivative equals 384.